Bai Hao Yu seemed to have thought of something, and he said to Lin Qingxue and Li Jie, Once the auction is over, we'll immediately go search for the whereabouts of the stone. Lin Qingxue couldn't help but look worried. I heard Yao Qi Holy Land and Dao Seeking Sect will go too. I'm afraid they're also here for that item. I'm afraid that the situation will be bad for us. Master has already instructed us to do our best. No matter what, we have to obtain that item. It's of great importance. On the other side, Yi Zan rested for a moment and then prepared to go to Jingdu Auction House. I heard there will be supreme grade divine pills and powerful cultivation techniques in this auction. Really, is the information accurate? The person in charge of the auction house is a relative of my great aunt's second uncle. There's no doubt about it. Even the people of the seven great sects have been attracted here. Haven't you noticed that many strong cultivators have appeared on the streets recently? I think the news should be accurate. If they are the ones who would compete with us, we won't get an item. I'm not greedy. I'll be satisfied if I can get a few treasures. They were discussing the auction along the way. After listening to a few words, Yi Zan had some understanding of Jingdu auction. Originally, Jingdu auction would be held at a fixed time every month. This time, it had been delayed for some reason. The news was released in the last few days, catching everyone off guard. Then, the rumors became more and more exaggerated. There were all kinds of stories, and some were outrageous. Some said that there would be heaven realm cultivation techniques. The authenticity of these rumors was questionable. Although Yi Zan didn't know the way to the auction house, he could find it by asking anyone. He looked at the magnificent building in front of him. It covered a vast area and had a total of five floors. Carved balustrade and jade building brightly lit. Red lanterns exuded a warm light, illuminating the surroundings as if it was daytime. This auction attracted many people. The guests had already gathered before the auction even started. However, not everyone was allowed to enter. An ordinary invitation card had been raised to 1,000 mid grade spirit stones. Without a strong family background, one couldn't even enter the auction. It was worthy of being the biggest auction. Even the servants at the door were earth rank level 5. Yi Zan handed over the golden invitation. The servant's expression changed instantly. The servant thought he was seeing things, but then he said respectfully, Please wait for a moment. Soon, a higher ranking person came out to welcome Yi Zan. It was clear that this golden invitation was extraordinary. They received Yi Zan politely. Looking at his clothes, he must have a high status in the auction. The man looked at Yi Zan in shock. He was surprised that someone with such a low cultivation level would have a golden invitation. This time, they only sent out a dozen golden invitations. The invitations were given to the seven great sects or the powerful reclusive families. They recorded every invitation, and he did not expect to see a golden invitation in Yi Zan's hand. Zhou Zhenshin did not make a sound. One must know that the invitation could not be faked, let alone stolen. Treasure Pavilion actually gave such a valuable invitation to Yi Zan. I am Zhou Zhenshin, one of the people in charge of the auction. If you have any questions, you can look for me directly. Just like Treasure Pavilion, there were a few people in charge of the auction, but the final boss behind the scenes was someone else. Yi Zan walked in and found that it was a different world. The venue looked bigger. The stage in the middle was in the shape of a lotus, and the innermost was a giant flower bud. He couldn't see what was inside, but it was unique and exquisitely designed. Above the second floor was a private room. The curtains were floating, and the people above could see everything below. However, the people below could not see what was going on above the second floor due to the restriction, it was confidential. Zhou Zhenshin brought Yi Zan to the fourth floor. The fifth floor was not open to the public. The doors of the private rooms on the fourth floor were all closed, so it was impossible to tell if there were people inside. Don't worry, sir. Our auction house is very secretive. Outsiders don't know what's going on inside. If you have any requests, you can call us. Zhou Zhenshin was ready to leave after a simple introduction. There was a hubbub of voices downstairs, and it was very lively. Many people from the sects came. Most of them gathered in the hall, and the strong ones were on the second and third floors. Except for Yi Zan, the fourth floor was almost full of people from the seven great sects. Sigh, there are so many people here this time. You can imagine how fierce the competition is. I wonder if I can get the thing I want. I heard there will be a lot of rare treasures being auctioned this time. The rumors outside are getting more and more incredible. Isn't that so? We can see many impressive items today. Just as the crowd was discussing, the lights suddenly dimmed. 
The flower bud in the middle of the stage began to tremble slightly, and a ray of light fell in an instant. The flower buds bloomed layer by layer, looking exquisite and luxurious as if a real lotus was in full bloom. It was so gorgeous that everyone else was stunned. The complete stage was presented in front of the crowd. The crowd had never seen such a scene before. The applause was like thunder, and the crowd cheered passionately. People were amazed by the performance. Many foreigners were in the crowd, and they couldn't help but sigh, as expected of an auction that shook Jingdu. I'm glad I'm here to see the whole thing. Welcome to Jingdu Auction House. The first item is the Thousand Year Ice Mountain Snow Lotus. The starting price is 500,000 mid grade spirit stones, and each increment must not be less than 10,000 mid grade spirit stones. On the lotus shaped tray, a white figure appeared in everyone's line of sight. The snow white petals were like snow that would not melt for the rest of the year, looking incredibly pure. The Ice Mountain Snow Lotus was extremely rare, not to mention such an old one. It was a great medicine ingredient. It could be refined into a supreme grade elixir. Moreover, the medicinal properties were mild. If it was consumed directly, it would have a powerful effect of replenishing qi and healing injuries. 550,000 mid grade spiritual stones, 700,000 mid grade spiritual stones, 800,000 mid grade spiritual stones. Everyone in the hall started to bid, but there was no movement from the second floor and above. They knew that the thousand year ice mountain snow lotus was only an appetizer. Although it was indeed good, the real good things were still at the back, as everyone knew. The best item was at the finale of the auction. In the end, someone bought the Thousand Year Ice Mountain Snow Lotus for 3 million middle grade spirit stones. Up next is the second auction item, the Dragon Bone Sky Splitting Sword. Rumors say this sword was made by the master of forging, Oyeji. Furthermore, it was made from dragon bones. The starting price is 2 million mid spiritual stones. Oyeji was a forging god from a hundred years ago. He had also participated in the forging of a divine weapon. Many of his works were lost to time since he had fallen. This sword would be worth a lot if Oyeji were the one who made it. A long sword appeared in front of everyone's eyes. The sword's body was bizarre. It was composed of sections of blades as if it were a real dragon bone. Dragon scales were shimmering faintly. The entire sword's body was cold and pressing, and everyone could feel the aura in it. Spiritual light shot out from the auctioneer's fingertips and landed on the sword. The sword trembled slightly, and the sound was clear and powerful. The roar of a dragon filled the entire venue. It was a rare divine weapon. 2.5 million mid grade spiritual stones, 3 million mid grade spiritual stones, 3.5 million mid grade spiritual stones. The price of the Dragonbone Sky Splitting Sword continued to soar. The shouts of bids rose one after another. Very quickly, the price had soared to 5 million. Even many sects on the second and third floors had joined the bidding. Yi Zan didn't have much interest in the Ice Mountain Snow Lotus, but this Dragonbone Sky Splitting Sword was not bad, it just so happened that he also lacked a suitable weapon. 20 million mid grade spiritual stones. As soon as Yi Zan bid, the price increased by many times, making those who wanted the Dragonbone Sword freeze in place. They looked at where the voice came from and started discussing. Who called the price? It suddenly increased by more than 10 million. It's from the fourth floor. Could it be the people from the seven great sects? I heard that quite a few of the seven great sects have come this time, but I don't know which sect they are. Although this dragon bone sword is good, the seven great sects have deep foundations, it's not worth spending so many spirit stones. Although the dragon bone sword was precious, the price was a bit too high. Moreover, Yi Zan had increased the price so much that the others couldn't catch up with him anymore. He put the Dragonbone Sword into his bag. The third item is a supreme grade defensive magic weapon the Chinkin Black Turtle Shell. The starting price is 5 million mid grade spirit stones. This magic weapon is made from the strongest black tortoise shell. Not only can it fly, but it can also travel a thousand miles in a day. It also has a strong defensive ability and can even resist the attack of a heaven rank level 1 master. Just as its name suggested, the magic weapon was in the shape of a tortoise shell. Its surface was engraved with complicated formations and symbols. It looked small, and some spiritual energy was surrounding it. But once spiritual energy was injected into it, it would enlarge and become a flying magic weapon that could accommodate several people. It's a rare flying magic weapon, it is fast, and most importantly, it has a strong defense. Flying magic tools were very common on the market 
but those with strong defensive power were rare, it was useful for escaping or traveling. 6 million mid-grade spiritual stones, 8 million mid-grade spiritual stones. 10 million mid-grade spiritual stones. Yi Zan lacked a flying magic weapon, so he bid without hesitation, 20 million mid-grade spiritual stones. Upon hearing the price, everyone was shocked at first. Then, they immediately reacted. It's that person on the fourth floor again. Who is he? Even if he has a lot of money, he shouldn't spend it like this. The people from Misty Illusory Manor were also on the fourth floor. Li Jie and Lin Qingxue felt that the voice was familiar as if they had heard it somewhere before, but they weren't sure. After all, there were people with similar voices. In the Tao Seeking Sect's private room, which sect is it? They are so generous. The one on the fourth floor must be one of the seven great sects. The Heaven Sect is the richest and most powerful one, it must be them. One of the disciples looked at the old man in the corner, he was meditating with his eyes closed. If people didn't pay attention, they would overlook him easily. He was just like an ordinary old man. However, the moment he opened his eyes, his aura changed. It was as if a towering mountain had risen from the ground. The private room instantly became silent. Grand Elder, will this person affect us? The old man lifted his eyelids slightly and then closed his eyes again. It's fine. If the other sects received the news, they would be determined to win. Let's see who is the one who has the upper hand in the end. Yi Zan's appearance was like a small stone falling on a calm lake, setting off countless ripples. The sects on the fourth floor were trying to guess which of the seven great sects this person was from. Dao Seeking Sect? Heaven Sect? Yao Chi Holy Land? Then came the fourth, fifth, sixth, eighth, the next dozens of auction items were all bought by Yi Zan alone, and the prices were higher and higher. Everyone was almost numb to it, they were just here to watch a man buy all the items. Every time the auctioneer finished displaying the items, everyone would subconsciously look at Yi Zan's private room. Yi Zan also lived up to expectations and bought all items at an extremely high price. In the end, the final price reached a million top grade spirit stones. Even though super forces were paying attention to Yi Zan, the people from Yao Chi Holy Land, Misty Illusory Manor, and Dao Seeking Sect, who were initially calm, could no longer sit still. DMN it. He can't be here for that thing, right? Go and find out who this person is. In the private room of the Tao seeking sect. Great elder, this person might be our greatest opponent, should we go and investigate? The old man shook his head. There's a restriction here. The auction house needed to protect the guests' confidentiality and privacy, so divine sense can't enter the private room. The other disciples could not help but look disappointed. There's nothing you can do, even with your strength. The old man wanted to say something but stopped. With his current strength, he naturally had a way to deal with this kind of restriction. However, it would alert the person behind the auction house if he destroyed the restriction. He shook his head and said, Don't worry, even if this person is rich, he probably won't have much left after spending so many spirit stones. He won't pose too much danger to us. We must be careful of those who haven't made a move yet. As expected of a veteran, the old man hit the nail on the head. However, he never thought there would be a time when he would be wrong. The people from the other sects were not fools. After they understood the logic behind this, they calmed down again. The hall was filled with people. Who is this person? How come he has not run out of spirit stones yet? I think he has spent nearly a million supreme grade spirit stones. Even the seven grade sects shouldn't be this rich. I suspect his family owns a spirit stone mine, or he is the richest man in the world who came here to bid. This is so infuriating. I wouldn't have come to this auction if I had known that there was such an insane tycoon. I wasted so many spirit stones for nothing. Exactly. It feels like we're all here to watch a show. The crowd was in a heated discussion. Their curiosity about Yi Zan's identity even exceeded the auction items for a time. Most people guessed that he came from the seven great sects. Everyone, please quiet down. The auctioneer shouted a few times before the crowd finally quieted down. This is the last item of our auction. Upon hearing this, everyone looked to the center of the stage. The most exciting moment had finally arrived. What would Jingdu Auction House auction as the final item? Our auction house was in a dilemma to auction off this item, but in the end, we still decided to auction it off. The auctioneer's tone faltered. His mysterious attitude made everyone even more curious. Hurry up and take it out. What good thing is it? Let us all have a look. 
One had to know that Jingdu Auction House had also handled many treasures. They had been in this business for a long time, but they never said something like this. Hence, this last item was definitely extraordinary. The auctioneer smiled and didn't keep the crowd in suspense. Now, look at our last item. A scroll was carefully taken out from the tray. Judging from the appearance of the scroll, it should be pretty old. There were many damaged parts on the corners, revealing the white base. There were even traces of worms eating into the edges. The crowd could not help but reveal a puzzled look, just by looking at the appearance, it's very ordinary. There's nothing special about it at all. Could it be that the auction house is deliberately mystifying things? It's just a lousy painting. What's so amazing about it? Don't tell me you're trying to fool us with this, someone directly said. The crowd below the stage was in heated discussion, but the auctioneer's expression was indifferent. Everyone please calm down. Let's look at it. The moment he finished speaking, the scroll slowly unfurled. In an instant, bright starlight spread out like a river of stars. Everyone was attracted by this magnificent scene and subconsciously held their breath. Speckles of fluorescent light floated from the top of the scroll. It floated in a very regular pattern in the surroundings. If the astrology people were here, they would find that the light on the scroll corresponded to the stars in the sky one by one. It contained the eight trigrams of heaven and earth, the principles of the universe, and astrology. The fluorescent lights floated and changed like the stars in the sky. Everyone could vaguely hear a voice coming from a distant place, like the murmuring of the great Tao. For a moment, they revealed intoxicated expressions. Everyone subconsciously wanted to pursue it. It was like they were not in an auction house but above the nine heavens. They were in a jade palace, an ethereal immortal palace. They saw a golden dragon flying in the sky and a phoenix resting on a parasol tree. Everything was like a dream. Looking around, some people were sitting cross-legged, some were clapping their hands in deep thought, and some were laughing at the sky. As the saying went, all living beings had different forms, but they were all gathered here to listen to the great Tao. In the end, the auctioneer's voice brought everyone back to their senses. Only then did the crowd realize their strange actions and couldn't help but feel embarrassed. The lower the cultivation level of a person, the easier it was to be affected. All kinds of strange scenes showed that this item was extraordinary. How could one figure out the myriad changes of the constellation, but it was vividly displayed on this small scroll? The auctioneer kept the scroll. This item is called Hichu and Luoshu diagram. I believe everyone is familiar with its name. Unfortunately, this is only an incomplete part. The other half is missing. It was only then that everyone noticed that the scroll was damaged at the edge. There were large cracks on it as if someone had torn it in half from the middle. Hichu and Luoshu diagram was a mysterious pattern passed down from ancient times. No one knew who its creator was. Later generations found that it originated from the stars in the sky and contained the Great Tao. Some even said that it contained the secret of immortal ascension. The stories became more and more mysterious. Countless people went crazy because of it and wanted to solve the mystery of the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. Although they didn't know it was real, they knew how precious the Hichu and Luoshu diagrams were. The people who owned them were all extraordinary. They had seen something special in it. As for what it was, outsiders didn't know because their masters were silent about it, which gave the river chart and the Luo book a layer of mystery. As a result, outsiders believed in the theory of immortal ascension even more. As everyone knows, the Hichu and Luoshu diagram, along with its previous owner, are both missing. Our auction house has spent a lot of effort, manpower, and money to find its whereabouts. After verification, it has been confirmed to be authentic. Everyone can rest assured. Since the disappearance of the Hichu and Luoshu diagram a hundred years ago, many people tried to find its whereabouts. However, it had been too long. They couldn't find it at all. There were all kinds of imitations on the market, and many people had been scammed. The reputation of Jingdu Auction House was guaranteed. When the auctioneer said it was the authentic one, it should be it. So, everyone believed him without a doubt. Even if it's incomplete, this Hichu and Luoshu diagram is still precious. If you have the opportunity to collect it and complete it, you may be able to solve the mystery within. Hence, the starting price is 10,000 Supreme Grade Spirit Stones. Hearing this number, everyone gasped. Did I hear it right? 10,000 Supreme Grade Spirit Stones? Hearing this price, everyone was shocked. What did 10,000 Supreme Grade Spirit Stones mean? In other words, 10,000 Supreme Grade Spirit Stones were enough to provide several years of cultivation for all the disciples of a medium-sized sect. Why don't you rob us? 
It is only an incomplete part. What if the incomplete part was accidentally destroyed and didn't exist in this world anymore? You can't say that. Let's open our minds a little. It's the Hichu and Luoshu diagram contains the secret of immortal ascension. This price is not high. As expected of Jingdu Auction House, they can even find the long lost Hichu and Luoshu diagram. Although it's incomplete, it shows that they have extraordinary power. We can only look at such a divine item. I guess only the people from the seven great sects are qualified to bid for it. This trip was not in vain. I wonder which sect will win the bid. I think all the super forces have arrived. An individual couldn't afford such a price, and he could only do so with the help of the sect. All the cultivators in the world wanted to become immortals. They studied hard to explore the great Tao and become immortals. If anyone had the Hichu and Luoshu diagram, they would not be willing to let it go. However, this Hichu and Luoshu diagram was incomplete, and it was a problem to find the other half. The secret of immortal ascension was passed down from ancient times. No one knew if it was true or false. No wonder the auctioneer had said those words. On the fourth floor of the auction house, the misty illusory manor, the Tao seeking sect, Yaochi Holy Land, and the other big sects were all shocked. They were all determined to get Hichu and Luoshu diagram. It really is Hichu and Luoshu diagram, we must get it. No matter what price we have to pay, Hichu and Luoshu diagram must belong to Yaochi Holy Land. We've already lost that stone, we must get Hichu and Luoshu diagram. Hichu and Luoshu diagram is of great importance, we can't let it fall into the hands of others. The people from Misty Illusory Manor were the first to bid. 20,000 supreme grade spirit stones. In an instant, the price had doubled, causing the others to sigh with emotion. One must know that this was not a mid grade or top grade spirit stone. As expected of Misty Illusory Manor, one of the seven great sects. The people from the Tao seeking sect didn't back down, 30,000 supreme grade spirit stones. 40,000 supreme grade spirit stones. That's strange. That tycoon didn't raise the bid again. Is he not interested in Hichu and Luoshu diagram? Don't you use your brain to think. He bought so many things before, so how could he have so many supreme grade spirit stones now? I think he doesn't have enough spirit stones. He wasted his spirit stones earlier, now, he can only watch others bid. When everyone was discussing, the price of the Hichu and Luoshu diagram soared crazily. Everyone below the stage was amazed. These spirit stones were not something they could possess even if they lived a few more lives, let alone this life. To the people of the seven great sects, money was nothing compared to the temptation of immortal ascension. It was hard to find supreme grade spirit stones because there were not many left in the world. All of them were divided up by the super forces. The production was small too, only a few thousand in one year. From this, it could be seen how precious and supreme grade spirit stones were. Some cultivators had never even seen what a supreme grade spirit stone looked like. At this moment, the price of the Hichu and Luoshu diagram had already soared to 100,000, and the bidding slowed down. Oh my god! 10,000 supreme grade spirit stones are equivalent to hundreds of millions of top grade spirit stones. I have never seen so many supreme grade spirit stones in my life. As expected, in the eyes of these big sects, money is nothing. 200,000 supreme grade spirit stones. Everyone's expression changed when they heard the heaven sect's bid. The people from Misty Illusory Manor, Yaochi Holy Land, and the others were displeased. They did not have enough supreme grade spirit stones. I wonder if I can use top grade spirit stones to pay for the supreme grade spirit stones, someone asked. I'm very sorry. We only accept supreme grade spirit stones because of the Hichu and Luoshu diagram's special characteristics. This number of supreme grade spirit stones was almost all their sect had saved up. Everyone had done their best, but there were limited supreme grade spirit stones, so they could only take out this much. 200,000 supreme grade spirit stones going once. 200,000 supreme grade spirit stones going twice. 200,000, seeing no one else was bidding, the auctioneer was about to strike the gavel to make the final call when a male voice suddenly sounded. 800,000 supreme grade spirit stones. The moment he finished speaking, the entire place fell silent again, thinking they were hallucinating. 800,000 supreme grade spirit stones. I didn't hear wrong, did I? This is the price called out by the person. Everyone thought they were dreaming. If it were converted to top grade spirit stones, the number would have so many zeros that they did not know how to read it. 
Even the super forces were shocked. 800,000 supreme grade spirit stones. One must know that 200,000 supreme grade spirit stones were already all heaven sect had. However, this person's casual remark made it seem that supreme grade spirit stones were nothing at all. Everyone gasped in shock. The experienced auctioneer was stunned for a moment before he reacted and stuttered, is there anyone who wants to raise the bid? After saying that, he regretted because it was simply nonsense. No one wanted to bid higher than this sky-high price. Not only did it set an unprecedented new height in the auction, but even the turnover of the previous years could not compare to today's income. Then I announced that the He2 Luoshu diagram belongs to this customer. With the auctioneer's hammer, everyone's expression was different. Zhou Zhenshen once again entered Yi Zan's private room. The expression on his face was as respectful as could be. He would probably only reveal such an expression when facing the boss behind the scenes. Now, he finally knew why Yi Zan was able to get this golden invitation despite his low cultivation. The reason was no more than money. However, how could someone who could take out many supreme grade spirit stones be an ordinary person? Even though super forces didn't have many supreme grade spirit stones, it was clear that Yi Zan's background was not weak. Perhaps even his cultivation level was a disguise. Thinking of this, Zhou Zhenshin became even more humble, not daring to offend a big customer like Yi Zan. This is the He Tu Luoshu diagram, please take a look. Due to the He Tu Luoshu diagram's value and uniqueness, they deliver it to Yi Zan immediately. After Yi Zan confirmed it, he used the supreme grade spirit stones in the storage ring for transactions. At the same time, the system's notification sound rang out in his mind. Congratulations to the host for completing the mission of consuming 1 million supreme grade spirit stones. Mission reward. 10,000 prodigal points. Additional reward. 3 realms sword chi. Random mission. Consume 500 supreme grade soul returning pills. Mission success reward. 5,000 prodigal points. Mission failure will randomly deduct prodigal points. 10 days. Three realms sword chi. Yi Zan didn't have time to study what it was before he saw the mission issued by the system. Now that there was a ready made auction site, he was not afraid that he could not sell his things. Just as Zhou Zhenshin was about to leave, Yi Zan suddenly called out to him, May I ask if there's anything else you'd like me to do? I have something I want to put up for auction here. Zhou Zhenshin immediately looked hesitant. By right, this was not in line with the rules. The auction had already ended for the day, so it was unreasonable for Yi Zan to make such a request. However, thinking of the huge amount of spirit stones Yi Zan had spent today, he had to agree. May I ask what you want to sell? A golden pill suddenly appeared in Yi Zan's palm. Zhou Zhenshin could not help but widen his eyes, it's a divine soul pill. The divine soul pill was hard to make. The ingredients were rare, and making the pill was complicated. A single mistake could turn it into a useless pill. Even the alchemy king had a hard time making it. Yi Zan's brows raised. Divine soul pill. According to ancient records, the soul returning pill was a supreme grade pill from ancient times. It had a miraculous effect on healing injuries of the soul and divine sense. Up until now, the recipe was incomplete. The so called divine soul pill was derived by later generations based on the remaining recipe. It gained its name because it was different from the original recipe. Although the two were very similar, the difference was heaven and earth in terms of efficacy. Although the effect of the divine soul pill was not bad, the soul returning pill could strengthen the foundation and heal the root. Even the divine soul pill was a rare treasure, not to mention the soul returning pill. There were probably not many people who had seen it before, and even fewer people had heard of it. It was no wonder that Zhou Zhenshin would mistake it for something else. Divine soul pills are rare. I think this can be sold for a lot of spirit stones. Zhou Zhenshin had initially thought that it would be something difficult to sell. However, Yi Zan took out such a precious divine soul pine casually. Zhou Zhenshin was even more amazed in his heart. Zhou Zhenshin would be even more shocked if he knew this was not a divine soul pill but a soul returning pill. You can sell a hundred first. Zhou Zhenshin was studying the pill in his hand. When he heard Yi Zan's words, he thought he was hallucinating. He smiled and said, I'm afraid you didn't add an extra zero, did you? It's a hundred. Yi Zan took the pills from his space and placed them on the table in front of him. Zhou Zhenshin's eyes almost fell out of their sockets. One, one hundred. Those who didn't know better would think it was some ordinary pill. Yeah. 
Yi Zan's attitude was very indifferent, it was like he didn't care about these pills at all. These pills were just ordinary things to him. Although the divine soul pill couldn't be compared to items like the Hichu and Luoshu diagram, it was still an extremely precious pill. It was a rare pill that cost a lot of money. After all, it was difficult for Alchemy King to refine one. The price doesn't matter, but you need to auction them off as soon as possible. Even Zhou Zhenshin felt a little jealous when he heard Yi Zan's tone. At the same time, he was also puzzled. Yi Zan's request was odd. However, he couldn't ask too much, perhaps this was the hobby of rich people. They could casually take out some things to sell for fun, and they were all such precious medicinal pills. Zhou Zhenshin's admiration for Yi Zan rose to a new level. When the auctioneer on the stage received the news, he was surprised. If Zhou Zhenshin did not come to him personally, the auctioneer would have thought it was a joke. It was something that had never happened before in Jingdu Auction House. At this moment, the crowd had not left yet, they were still stunned by the sky high price. The auctioneer returned to the stage again, cleared his throat, and said, Now, we'll add a special auction item. The crowd was disinterested. What auction item could compare to Hichu and Luoshu diagram? 100 Divine Soul Pills. The starting price is 5,000 top grade spirit stones. Everyone's reaction was the same as Zhou Zhenshin's, thinking that the auctioneer had given the wrong number. What? I didn't hear it wrong, did I? 100 Divine Soul Pills. Although the Divine Soul Pill was not as precious as the Hichu and Luoshu diagram, it was still a supreme grade pill. It was difficult to refine and had a miraculous effect on healing the spirit and consciousness. One Divine Soul Pill was hard to find, let alone a hundred. Now, there were actually a hundred. At this moment, in one of the private rooms on the fourth floor, everyone became extremely excited when they heard about the Divine Soul Pill. They were not this shocked when the Hichu and Luoshu diagram appeared. This is great. It's Divine Soul Pills, and there are so many of them, doesn't this mean that we can save Grand Elder? We spent a lot of effort looking for it, but I did not expect we find it here. We don't need the Hichu and Luoshu diagram, but we must get the Divine Soul Pill. These people's weapons were all swords and their auras were sharp, like the cold unsheathed swords. They were the disciples of the sword sect, one of the seven great sects. They seemed to have thought of something and looked worried, but we don't have enough spirit stones, I'm afraid we can't buy all the divine soul pills. Who cares? We have to buy as many as we can, it's better than nothing. Grand Elder of Sword Sect was powerful, but he was injured in an accident. His injury was not easy to cure and needed a divine soul pill. Sword Sect had been searching all over the place for the past few days, and they had barely managed to find one. However, their Grand Elder's injuries were too severe. One pill was not enough. Now that they had such a good opportunity, how could they possibly give it up? 10,000 Upper Grade Spirit Stones, 15,000 Upper Grade Spirit Stones, 16,000 Upper Grade Spirit Stones. Soon, the price of the Divine Soul Pills rose to 20,000 Upper Grade Spirit Stones for one. It was obvious that the demand for divine soul stones was quite high. If one wanted to buy 100 divine soul stones, it would cost 2 million upper grade spirit stones. The popularity of the sword sect was at its peak. Whenever they called out a price, someone would raise it. It felt like they were deliberately going against them. Everyone, although the divine soul pill is precious, it doesn't have many uses. Why don't you give our sword sect some face here? Why do you have to compete with us? The elder of the sword sect spoke, and all the private rooms on the fourth floor could hear him. Soon, a deep voice came from the next room, I was wondering who it was, so it's the sword master. Sorry, the divine soul pill is not only useful to you but also to us. The expressions of the people from the sword sect changed slightly, this voice was extremely familiar, it was the one who had been bidding non-stop. It seemed that only one of the seven great sects would have the courage and ability to do so. In the end, the price of the divine soul pill had increased to 50,000 for one. Sword sect had clenched their teeth and bought 30 pills. They could not afford the rest of them, so they could only watch the other sects divide them up. After the auction ended, most people in the hall had left, however, people were still talking about the Hichu and Luoshu diagram and the 100 divine soul pills. It probably wouldn't take more than the next day for the news to spread throughout Jingdu. The people on the second and third floors didn't move, as if they were waiting for something. Finally, someone walked out of one of the private rooms on the fourth floor. It was the Yauchi Holy Land. I wonder which sect bought the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. 
Dao Seeking Sect also wants to know this question. Then, someone else walked out. I think only people from the seven grade sects can afford 800,000 supreme grade spirit stones. Who has such a bold mind? Other than Sword Sect, the people from the six grade sects were here. It included Misty Illusory Manor, Dao Seeking Sect, Yaochi Holy Land, Heaven Sect, and Infinity Sect. Everyone looked at each other. The elder of the Infinity Sect put on a fake smile and said, It seems that the Sword Sect had bought the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. Sword Sect's strength could be considered as one of the tops among the seven great sects, but its foundation was not as deep as the other sects. The people of the Sword Sect were obsessed with practicing the sword and seeking supremacy way of the sword, so they did not care so much. It could be said that the higher their combat strength was, the more spirit stones they had. After all, they only had swords in their eyes and nothing else. Then, someone bid for the Hichu and Luoshu diagram at a high price. It was like the sun rising from the west. Where did they get so many spirit stones? Sword sect, didn't you claim you could defeat everything with your swords? Someone said sarcastically, why are you so interested in the Hichu and Luoshu diagram now? It had the secret of immortal ascension. Who wouldn't be tempted? I think those words about breaking everything with one sword were just nonsense. In the end, they still need to rely on external forces. Are you guys done? With a furious roar, the sword master and the others kicked open the door of the private room. If they had not fought in the auction, they would have used their swords instead of their feet. Not only did he fail to get the divine soul pills, but he was also slandered. The disciples of the sword sect glared at the others and said, If you have something to say, say it in front of us. Don't talk about it behind our backs. We did want to get the Hichu and Luoshu diagram, but how do we have enough spirit stones? When the people from the other sects heard this, they couldn't help but be surprised. What, didn't you guys bid for the Hichu and Luoshu diagram? The people from Sword Sect said unhappily, Do you think we have that much money? That's 800,000 supreme grade spirit stones? The people from Sword Sect didn't seem to be lying. Moreover, the Sword Sect was relatively poor among all the sects. Everyone looked at each other, that's strange. If it's not Sword Sect, who could it be? Sword Sect disciples left in a hurry and did not want to argue with them. The most important thing was to send the pills back to the sect. They had no interest in getting involved in these things. Only the six great sects were left. Their suspicious gazes lingered on the other people. Just who bought the Hichu and Luoshu diagram? Since you've already won the bid, what's there to be ashamed of? Do you think we're going to steal it? Why are you looking at us? We didn't bid on the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. You should know very well who bought it. There's no need to pretend here. Didn't your Dao seeking sect buy it? I heard that you have a lot of supreme grade spirit stones. What are you saying? Are you trying to sow discord? I think it's you guys, Yaochi Holy Land. Don't talk nonsense here and mislead others. Your misty illusory manor should have a few supreme grade spirit stones, right? They wanted to ask the manager of the auction house directly, however, the auction house had a rule that all information about the auctioneer would be kept secret. The purpose was to prevent other people who did not manage to get the item from having bad intentions. As for what would happen after they left the auction house, that was not within their ability. Seeing the big sects quarreling and even fighting, the person in charge of the auction house had to come forward to calm the situation down. However, no one noticed that Yi Zan had already left through the back door of the auction house with the help of Zhou Zhenshin. Yi Zan knew how precious the Hichu and Luoshu diagram was, so he didn't dare to waste any time. Like a ghost in the night, he was so fast that only his shadow could be seen. However, after walking for hundred meters, he suddenly stopped. He didn't expect someone found him even though he was so careful. Without waiting for Yi Zan to speak, the air suddenly became distorted. A crack was torn open in the air. The violent spiritual power tore the surrounding space apart, and a hunched figure appeared. Cough, cough, a tottering old man appeared in front of Yi Zan but every step he took was extremely laborious. This person was the great elder of the Tao seeking sect. His eyes lit up as he looked Yi Zan up and down, and he said in disbelief, I didn't expect that the one who bought the Hichu and Luoshu diagram would be you. What surprised the old man the most was that Yi Zan was only at human rank level 2. He was the real deal, and there were no traces of any magical artifacts to conceal his full strength. Put down the Hichu and Luoshu diagram, and I'll let you go. The old man in front of him had a calm aura and looked no different from an ordinary old man, however, 
Yi Zan didn't dare to underestimate him. Based on the old man's ability to tear space, he was at least at the sky rank or above. What if I don't? The old man revealed a kind smile, but his words made people shiver, then die. As soon as the old man finished speaking, his aura became extremely terrifying. In an instant, the sky changed color, and the wind and clouds started to move violently. No one could see how he attacked, and there was no time to dodge. The invisible force hit Yi Zan heavily. Yi Zan spat out a large mouthful of blood. What terrifying power, he couldn't even think of resisting. The old man was also surprised. He had used all his strength in that palm. If it had been anyone else, they would have probably been killed on the spot with all their meridians broken, but Yi Zan was still breathing. I'll give you one more chance. The Hichu and Luoshu diagram, are you going to hand it over or not? I won't, very good, I'd like to see if you can take my palm. A pair of giant hands appeared out of thin air above Yi Zan, giving off unparalleled pressure. Yi Zan looked at the giant hands that covered the sky and had no way to retreat, he could only watch them fall. The old man smiled, but the next second, his smile froze on his face. He thought he would see Yi Zan's body, but there was no one under the giant hand. Only a few strands of hair fell from the air. What a good move. I fell for this kid's illusion, I don't believe that he can escape from my attack. The old man's expression was ruthless, and his figure disappeared. On the other side, Yi Zan sat on the turtle shaped magical artifact. He bought it in the auction and didn't expect to use it now. After witnessing the old man's power, Yi Zan knew he was no match for the old man at all with his current cultivation. Yi Zan had created a clone, but his real body was riding a flying magic artifact. Even though Yi Zan was as fast as lightning, he still felt he was too slow. Judging the old man's cultivation base, it was only a matter of time before he saw through Yi Zan's illusion and caught up with him. At that time, he was afraid that he would be in danger. On the other side, the people from Sword Sect had almost rushed back as fast as they could. The twenty divine soul pills were sent to the Grand Elder immediately. In the cave, Mo Ji Enming sat cross legged and swallowed the pill. In a moment, golden light flowed and repaired his spirit. Mo Ji Enming suddenly opened his eyes, and a terrifying aura was emitted. A soaring sword chi rose from the ground, and the top of the mountain was shrouded in sharp sword chi. The entire mountain trembled, and all the disciples of sword sect looked up in shock. What happened? The quake seems to be coming from the hidden sword peak. The disciples, the elders, and even the sect master were alarmed and rushed to where the Grand Elder was. The Grand Elder walked out slowly from inside. Everyone was in disbelief, Elder Mo, your injuries are. Usually, twenty divine soul pills could only suppress the injury and prevent it from worsening. Grand Elder's injury was so severe that he almost died. One could imagine how badly his soul was injured. If it wasn't for his strong cultivation and the healing and spiritual energy from the elders and the sect master of sword sect, he would have died long ago. Now that he had appeared in front of everyone, how could they not be shocked? I've already recovered a third of my injuries. How is this possible? Everyone couldn't believe it. If they wanted to recover, they would probably need a lot of divine soul pills. But now, there were only twenty of them. Who would have thought that Mo Ji Enming would reveal such shocking news? This is not a divine soul pill, it's a soul returning pill. Even Mo Ji Enming himself was in disbelief, let alone the disciples. He had never thought that there would be someone in this world who could possess a soul returning pill. Soul returning pill. What's that? Everyone revealed an expression of disbelief. After all, this kind of pill had already disappeared in the long river of history. The divine soul pill was derived from the soul returning pill. However, people only knew the latter and not the former. If not for Mo Ji Enming's vast knowledge and powerful cultivation, he would have probably mistaken the soul returning pill for the divine soul pill. I can't be wrong. Only the soul returning pill can have such a powerful effect. I only consumed 20 pills, yet I've recovered one third of my strength. But Jingdu Auction House clearly said it was a divine soul pill. There are very few people who know about this pill. I'm afraid that the people at Jingdu Auction House have also mistaken it. In addition, the two pills are similar. It would be difficult to distinguish them unless we consume them. The disciple who had participated in the auction earlier said excitedly, If that's the case, doesn't it mean that you only need a dozen more pills to recover fully? Mo Ji Enming's expression immediately turned serious, Let's not worry about this for now. I need to go out for a while. The moment he finished speaking, 
he had already turned into a stream of light and disappeared into the air. No one knew what he was going to do in such a hurry. On the other side, Yi Zan was still running for his life. He caught a glimpse of the shadow behind him. He couldn't help but complain. I knew that this He Chu and Luo Shu diagram was a hot potato, but I didn't expect it to be so hot. He didn't expect the powerful old man to catch up so quickly. No matter how fast this flying magic artifact was, the difference in strength between them was too big. The old man would probably catch Yi Zan. The more dangerous the situation was, the calmer Yi Zan was, and his brain worked like crazy. This old man was at least sky ranked and above. Yi Zan had collected so many magic treasures before. However, ordinary items were not effective for the old man at all. Moreover, the ones Yi Zan had bought before were probably useless. DMN it, do I really have to hand over the Hechu and Luoshu diagram? Although the Hechu and Luoshu diagram was precious and contained the secret of the immortal ascension, nothing was more important than his life. Besides, it was never too late for Yi Zan to take revenge. Suddenly, he seemed to have thought of something. I got it, the system reward from earlier. Yi Zan remembered that the system had rewarded him with three realms sword chi when he completed the mission of consuming supreme grade spirit stones. However, he was attracted by the mission before he could read the introduction. I'll try it as a last resort. The system's products can't possibly be a scam. The old man was about to catch up when a dazzling light suddenly lit up. A deep crack suddenly appeared in the sky as if a sword had cut the sky in half. What the hell is this? The crack grew larger and larger, and the entire sky was split in half. It was as if something was about to come out and break free from the shackles of the firmament. The old man was dumbfounded. The powerful air current swept over and cut his face like a strong wind. He had no choice but to slow down. Humph! Show off! The old man didn't appreciate it at all. He thought it was an illusion created by Yi Zan. After all, how could a mere level 2 human rank cultivator create such a huge scene? Countless spiritual lights gathered in his palm, and a huge ball of light appeared in his hand. I'll break through this little illusion of yours. The old man flew up and aimed at the crack in the sky. The next second, something seemed to have penetrated his palm. Ah! The old man let out a blood curdling screech. He was almost caught off guard. There was a bloody hole in the middle of his palm, and fresh blood dripped onto the ground. The wound was not big, but it was a shocking sight. He quickly circulated his spiritual energy to heal the wound, but he failed to do so. Based on the old man's current strength, ordinary weapons or moves would not be able to cause any harm to him. It was the first time he had suffered such a wound. He was shocked. Most importantly, it seemed like something was moving along the wound on his palm and traveling through his body. His meridians were damaged as if they were being cut by a knife. His face suddenly turned pale, and blood seeped out of the corner of his mouth. He glared at Yi Zan, who was already far away, and roared, I'll catch you no matter where you are. After saying this, he used all his strength to attack. Yi Zan only heard the screams behind him and was a little surprised. He didn't expect the sword chi to be so powerful that it could defeat the old man. The things given by the system are great. Before Yi Zan could breathe a sigh of relief, the old man's attack came from behind. He didn't expect the old man would still have such terrifying power even though he was injured. The majestic spiritual energy exploded in the air like fireworks, and the heat waves came one after another. The tongue of flame instantly licked Yi Zan's clothes. The old man was a powerhouse above sky rank. By the time Yi Zan sensed the powerful aura behind him, there was no way he could avoid it. Almost instantly, the strong air current swept past like a gale, engulfing him with a destructive force. Ha 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 ha. The old man laughed wildly. Let's see if you're still alive this time. A terrifying explosion spread out, and dust flew in all directions, covering the sky and the sun the energy fluctuations produced even caused space to distort. The old man looked at the scene in front of him. Yi Zan's figure was swallowed by the dust instantly. He wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth fiercely. Even if you have nine lives, you won't be able to escape this. The old man's face turned pale as he felt an overwhelming pain in his meridians, what a terrifying sword she. He could only temporarily use his spiritual power to seal his eight extraordinary meridians as he staggered back to the Tao seeking sect. When the old man returned to the sect, the other disciples were shocked to see his pale face. Great Elder, are you alright? What happened? No one had ever seen the Great Elder suffer such a severe injury. 
The bloody hole in his palm was even more shocking. It had never happened before. I'm fine. I wanted to snatch the Hichu and Luoshu diagram, but an accident happened halfway. The great elder could feel the sword chi flowing in his body, he could only feel a fishy smell rolling in his throat, and his expression became even gloomier. This time, I failed miserably. I underestimated that kid. The wound on his hand still could not be healed, and he could not discharge the sword chi in his body. The sword chi was also flowing in his veins and breaking through the seal set by his spiritual energy, which showed its great power. The old man's expression turned ugly. He was also trapped by the sword chi and could not find a solution for the time being. When the others heard this, they were even more surprised. The great elder was so powerful that someone could injure him. It was really beyond everyone's expectations. Where's the Hichu and Luoshu diagram? I probably destroyed the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. If our Tao seeking sect can't get it, then no one else can. He had used almost all of his strength in the last attack. The kid was only at human rank level 2, so he could not resist it. The Hichu and Luoshu diagram should have been destroyed in the explosion. The others showed a look of pity. It's a pity we could not have the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. That's still better than letting it falls into the hands of other sects. The sword chi was flowing inside the great elder's body, and he was in great pain. I need to go into seclusion for a while. You guys should pay more attention to the movements of the other sects. After saying this, he began to go into seclusion, he had to expel the sword chi as soon as possible. Otherwise, it would cause irreparable damage to the foundation of his meridians. On the other side, Mo Jianming, who was preparing to head to Jingdu Auction House, suddenly stopped. His gaze fell in the northwest direction, and he said in surprise, What a powerful sword chi! Who is this expert? If it was someone else, they might have overlooked this. However, Mo Jianming was a sword cultivator with unfathomable strength. His attainments in the sword way were also quite high so he was naturally sensitive to sword chi. After a short hesitation, he decided to change direction and come to the suburbs of Jingdu. He looked around, but there was no one. There were only faint fluctuations of spiritual energy in the air. Mo Jianming's brows furrowed. The scene here was completely different from what he had imagined. He initially thought a great battle happened here, but it did not seem so. Everything was too calm. In fact, it was a little abnormal. Strange. Why didn't the sword chi leave any marks despite being so powerful? Mo Jianming closed his eyes and felt the sword chi in the air that had yet to dissipate. The more he came into contact with it, the more he realized that this sword chi was unfathomable and far more terrifying than he had imagined. Logically speaking, this really should not have happened. Mo Jianming sighed with emotion. I thought I'd already reached the peak of swordsmanship, but I do not expect that there are more powerful people in this world. A sharp pain came from his incomplete divine sense, so Mo Jianming hurriedly withdrew from it. This sword chi is truly too domineering. The remaining power is not dissipating. When did such an expert appear in the capital? I didn't sense anything. What bugged him the most was the domineering sword chi. There was no trace of the sword user. Could it be that someone could emit sword chi out of thin air? It was very bizarre. If there's a chance, I would like to get to know them. Sword Sect was the only one with the best achievements in sword techniques among the seven great sects. Mo Jianming followed the direction where the sword chi was left behind. It was a coincidence that he found a person in the ditch a hundred meters away. What? Mo Jianming was astonished and checked his breath. He's still alive even after suffering such a serious injury. This person was Yi Zan. The great elder of the Tao seeking sect would never have thought he was still alive. Other people would have been reduced to dust after the attack. Yi Zan's body had been modified by the system. He had a sturdy physique. With the help of a supreme grade defensive artifact, he had resisted fatal injuries, so he had survived. Mo Jianming could feel a strong spiritual power fluctuation from this person. Most importantly, he was only at human rank level 2. Not only did he have a strange sword chi, but he also had a powerful spiritual power fluctuation. He should have fought with a sky rank powerhouse before. Mo Jianming was instantly shocked by his own speculation. The sky rank cultivator was way stronger than the human rank cultivator. How could this person still be alive if he was attacked by a sky rank powerhouse? He should not be able to resist half a move. What exactly happened? However, those auras were not fake, not to mention that strange sword chi. Mo Jianming found it unbelievable. Seeing Yi Zan's weak aura, he hesitated for a moment. 
Forget it. It's fate that allows us to meet here. I take it that you are not supposed to die today. Mo Jianming circulated his spiritual energy and probed into Yi Zan's meridians. He frowned as he sensed something, strange. This person's spirit points are so strange. It was like an unfathomably deep black hole, crazily absorbing all the spiritual energy in the body and the outside world. It could absorb anything, no matter what it was. Mo Jianming practiced sword techniques, so his aura was domineering and fierce. His sword techniques were not suitable for healing people. It was an urgent matter, so he had no choice now. At first, he was worried that her sword chi would hurt Yi Zan, but he realized he was overthinking. All the spiritual energy, including his sword chi, was absorbed by Yi Zan. Perhaps Mo Jianming didn't notice it, but there was an indescribable power surging in the spirit point that even he couldn't see clearly. I've never seen such a physique in all these years. Perhaps he's a good seedling for cultivating the way of the sword. Mo Jianming wanted to figure it out, but there seemed to be something in Yi Zan's body blocking him. Moreover, it wasn't good to probe Yi Zan's body rashly, so he could only give up. After an unknown amount of time, Yi Zan could feel an overbearing spiritual power continuously being transmitted into his body. However, it did not carry any aggression. He slowly opened his eyes. You're awake? Yi Zan looked at the old man in front of him. The old man's eyebrows and eyes were full of energy. Although the aura on his body was restrained and looked peaceful, the aura he inadvertently emitted was terrifying. It made people unable to figure out his true strength. With such a calm and peaceful state, he was even more dangerous than the attacker. However, what made Yi Zan feel strange was that this old man's breath seemed to be a little unstable. Yi Zan could tell it from the old man's face. Sensing the flow of the essential qi in his body, Yi Zan said gratefully, Many thanks for your help, senior. Mo Jianming waved his hand, and his spirit began to hurt again. His injuries had not fully recovered, and now that he had rashly transferred essential qi and spiritual power, it was obvious that his injuries were getting worse. If it were not for his strong cultivation, he was afraid that he would not have been able to hold on. Initially, he had planned to go to Jingdu Auction House to find out where the soul returning pill came from. He didn't expect to be attracted by the strange sword chi on the way and save Yi Zan because of it. You're welcome. But why are you so seriously injured and unconscious here? Do you know what happened here before? Although there were traces of the strange sword chi on Yi Zan's body, Mo Jianming didn't think it was caused by someone else. After all, his cultivation was too low, so he thought Yi Zan was attacked. This, I'm sorry, senior. I have a special reason, I can't tell you. Mo Jianming sized up the young man in front of him. His eyes were clear, and his attitude was neither humble nor arrogant, he did not lie. Mo Jianming was not a curious person. When he thought of Yi Zan's unique physique, he wanted to take Yi Zan in as a disciple. Do you have a master? I've already joined a sect? Mo Jianming was a little disappointed, but he didn't insist, that's a pity. After he finished speaking, his expression changed slightly. There was a huge pain in his soul as if it was being pricked by needles. It must have been when he was transferring spiritual power, and the wound had opened accidentally. Yi Zan couldn't help but say, It seems you have a hidden illness. I have some pills here. Perhaps they can help you. Then, Yi Zan took out a pile of pills he had bought earlier, including those in the space ring, and handed them all to Mo Jianming. Mo Jianming couldn't help but smile bitterly as he looked at all the pills. I'm afraid these pills do not affect me. How would you know if you don't try, senior? Seeing Yi Zan's determination, Mo Jianming could not refuse and could only accept them. I still have important matters to attend to, so I'll be leaving first. Yi Zan looked at his back as he walked away. Tonight was a dangerous night for him. At the same time, he realized a serious problem. He was still too weak. If he could be a little stronger, he wouldn't have been forced into such a state. It seems I have to find a way to improve my strength as soon as possible. Jingdu was indeed the most prosperous place in Central Province. There were many hidden talents and experts, especially the seven great sects that appeared at the auction. Yi Zan could not risk offending any of them. Besides, the powerhouses Yi Zan met tonight were all stronger than the last. In comparison, his cultivation was not enough. Hence, the sense of crisis in his heart couldn't help but increase. Fortunately, I have the sword chi rewarded by the system. Otherwise, I really wouldn't have been able to escape. Yi Zan couldn't help but be grateful. Fortunately, he had the system. This one sword chi was already so powerful, but now only two sword auras left. 
he couldn't waste them. He had to use them on the blade. On the other side, Mo Jianming had also come to Jingdu Auction House to express his intention. Zhou Zhenshen personally welcomed him Mo Jianming. After hearing Mo Jianming's words, he could not help but be shocked, what did you say? It's actually the soul returning pill and not the divine soul pill. When Yi Zan took out the pill, he didn't think about it, so, he didn't ask anyone to appraise it. After all, the soul returning pill had been lost for a long time. Unfortunately, all the pills had been bought by the other sects, and there was not a single one left here. I, Mo Jianming, swear on my reputation that this matter is not false. Moreover, there's no need to lie. The person standing in front of him was the Grand Elder of Sword Sect, a powerhouse with top combat abilities. Zhou Zhenshin naturally believed him. He couldn't help but reveal a vexed expression. If it really were a soul returning pill, its value would be completely different. What surprised him the most was that Yi Zan had such a divine pill. What was this person's background? He had never heard of Yi Zan before, it was as if it had appeared out of thin air. No matter what Zhou Zhenshin thought in his heart, he could not change the fact now. Although he had lost some spirit stones, the Hichu and Luoshu diagram was sold at a sky high price, and it made up for the loss. Zhou Zhenshin was extremely respectful as he asked, May I ask what brings you here, Elder Mo? I want to know who was the one who took out the soul returning pill. Zhou Zhenshin immediately revealed a difficult expression and replied, This. He said cautiously, You should know the rules of our auction house. We can't reveal our guests' information to the outside world. The person standing in front of Zhou Zhenshin was the Grand Elder of the Sword Sect. If he said that he was in a bad mood, it was possible that he could split the auction house into two with a single sword strike. Although the auction house wasn't afraid of trouble, they didn't want to get into trouble. I know that you have to keep the guests' information confidential, but isn't it directed at the people who are auctioning for the items? I just want to ask you who put this pill up for auction, is that not allowed? Twenty soul returning pills could only heal one third of his injuries, and he had forcefully suppressed the majority of them. Mo Jianming's injuries were serious. Most importantly, if they weren't treated quickly, his wounds would worsen again. This was also the reason why he had come to the Jingdu auction house. Zhou Zhenshin did not want to offend him, so he directly stated the reason, Elder Mo, it's not that I don't want to tell you, but the person who sold this pill is the one who won the auction for the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. Mo Jianming finally understood why Zhou Zhenshin hesitated. I've also heard about it on the way here, but I'm not interested in the matter of the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. Although the Hichu and Luoshu diagram contained the secret to becoming immortal, it was a long time ago and there was no way to know whether it was real or not. Moreover, it was an incomplete part. If it was really a good thing, why would the people in the Jingdu auction house put it up for auction? And the most important point was that none of the previous owners of the Hichu and Luoshu diagram had a good ending. They either vanished suddenly or disappeared from the world. Very few people knew this secret. No one knew what had happened to them. However, there was no relevant evidence to prove that it was related to the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. I hope you can be understanding about this, Elder Mo. If I really tell you, I'm afraid I won't be able to account for it. Seeing that he couldn't get anything out of Zhou Zhenshin, Mo Jianming could only leave in disappointment. It wasn't that he hadn't thought of using force to pressure them, but he had heard that the power behind the Jingdu auction house was almost on par with the seven great sects, and could even be on par with them. Moreover, he was currently injured. If he were to use force, it would not be a wise move. If Elder Mo is in urgent need of these medicinal pills, maybe I can provide the list of sects that bid for these medicinal pills, Zhou Zhenshin suggested. No need. Mo Jianming didn't even need to think to know that it was the seven great sects who had won the auction for the medicinal pill. If they had obtained it, they would definitely not take it out so easily. Instead, they would discover that something was wrong with him. The fewer people who knew that he had yet to recover from his serious injuries, the better. Steward Zhou, please pretend that I never came here today. Don't worry, Elder Mo, Zhou Zhenshin nodded in response. After he sent Mo Jianming off, Zhou Zhenshin looked towards the door tiredly. He mumbled, there shouldn't be anyone coming anymore, right? Mo Jianming was not the first person to look for Zhou Zhenshin in private, and he would not be the last. The people of the seven great sects were determined to get the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. Even if they could not get any useful information from him, they would not give up. Zhou Zhenshin ordered to hang up a sign that said, business was currently closed, then turned around and went to the fifth floor. 
This could be said to be the most mysterious place in the Jingdu auction house. Moreover, it was not open to outsiders, so there were very few people who had the qualifications to go upstairs. He went to the innermost room and slowly pushed open the door. The light here was very dark, and he couldn't even see his fingers in front of him. It was as if he had come to an alternate dimension. Zhou Zhenshen's figure was instantly swallowed by the darkness. In the blink of an eye, the door returned to its original state, as if nothing had happened. A small firefly floated over and stopped on Zhou Zhenshen's shoulder. Under the guidance of the firefly, he slowly advanced. The deeper he went, the more fireflies there were. Finally, Zhou Zhenshen knelt on the ground and spoke respectfully, Master, the Hechu and Luoshu diagram has been auctioned off. In the center of the fireflies, there was the outline of a human figure, but the face could not be seen clearly, as if it was just a shadow of a human figure. Is it one of the people from the seven great sects? Zhou Zhenshen shook his head and replied, Neither. It's a cultivator of unknown origin. He's only at human rank level 2. He won the bid with 800,000 supreme grade spirit stones. The black shadow was stunned for a moment before saying, This is getting more and more interesting, human rank level 2 cultivator of unknown origins. It seems that he is quite bold. I've never seen this person before either. It's as if he appeared out of thin air. I've already contacted the treasure house and they also don't know anything about his background. However, he's very generous. Do we need to go and investigate? asked Zhou Zhenshen. No need. This won't affect our plan. But I'm afraid those people from the seven great sects won't give up so easily. After the auction ended, many people came to look for me, Zhou Zhenshen said after a moment of hesitation. I'm worried that if they can't find that man, they'll come to us for trouble. Even if it's us, we can only deal with it for a while. If they really use force, I'm afraid we. Before Zhou Zhenshen could finish his sentence, the black shadow understood what he meant. The black shadow said, You don't have to worry about this. I have my own ways. Although they were not afraid of the seven great sects, if these people joined forces to put pressure on them, the situation would be very disadvantageous to them. The black shadow's voice was extremely low, making people shiver. The black shadow said, The sect returning ceremony is about to begin. I'm afraid they don't have the time. Even if they want to find it, they won't be able to. What do you mean? Master. The black shadow seemed to have thought of something funny and suddenly laughed out loud. The black shadow said, Even if the Hechu and Luoshu diagram is incomplete, it can't stop these people's desire to become immortals. Let them be, these people from the seven great sects won't give up. The game has already started. Let me make this water even muddier. I'd like to see how the people from the seven great sects will deal with this. His voice was like a ghost as if it had drifted out from the depths of hell. Even Zhou Zhenshen could not help but have goosebumps all over his body when he heard it. The sword sect's sect master and a group of elders were waiting anxiously. They did not know why Mo Jianming had suddenly left. Someone said, Elder Mo has yet to fully recover from his injuries. I hope he's not in any danger when he's outside. With Elder Mo's cultivation, even if he's injured, there are few who can be his match. However, I'm worried about the injury in his soul. It's not advisable for him to use spiritual energy. After all, the injury of the soul was not a joke. The slightest carelessness could lead to the danger of being annihilated. Not far away, a small black dot gradually became clear. It was Mo Jianming, who had left in a hurry earlier. Seeing that he was fine, but his face was a little pale, everyone's anxious hearts finally relaxed. Elder Mo, where did you go just now? Mo Jianming was just about to open his mouth when a fishy smell rolled out of his throat. At this moment, he could no longer hold it in. Traces of bright red blood spread from the corner of his mouth, which startled everyone. I think it was because I was treating that kid just now, and it affected my wound. When the others from the sword sect heard this, they were shocked. They asked, Elder Mo, what's going on? You haven't even recovered from your own injuries. How can you treat someone else's injuries? Mo Jianming shook his head and replied, It's fine. I know what I'm doing. I wanted to go to the auction in the capital to find out the whereabouts of the person who sold the soul returning pill, but. He didn't finish his sentence, but everyone understood what he meant, it seemed like he had returned without any success. Mo Jianming's eyes turned black and he staggered, if the sword sect's sect master beside him had not caught him in time, he would have lost his balance. Looking at his pale face, the sect master He Jianshan sent a wisp of his divine sense over and was immediately shocked. He chided, Jianming you're too reckless. 
The chi in your body is currently in chaos, and your condition is getting worse. The injuries that he had recovered from with great difficulty had worsened again because Mo Ji Enming was treating someone else's injuries. What should we do now? Why don't we go to the other sects that won the auction and collect all the pills? He Janshan shook his head with a grim expression and said, No, if others know that the Grand Elder of the Sword Sect is injured, they will definitely not give the pills to us so easily. Once the news spreads, I'm afraid it will be detrimental to the Sword Sect. Then what should we do now? I'm afraid that Elder Mo won't be able to hold on for long in his current condition. Mo Ji Enming revealed a bitter smile and commented, It seems that I've overestimated myself. Originally, he thought that he would be able to withstand it after recovering one third of his strength. That was why Mo Zhongming chose to save him. However, he did not expect the backlash to be so severe. In the end, he had been too careless. Mo Ji Enming was already unable to stand steadily, and the things on his body fell to the ground with a clatter. Among them, a few medicinal pills rolled out. He Janshan's sharp eyes noticed the pills on the ground, he said, why does it look so familiar? The others followed his line of sight and were shocked. They exclaimed, isn't this the soul returning pill? Why does Elder Mo have a soul returning pill? Don't tell me it's a medicine similar to the soul returning pill. Not to mention the others, even Mo Jianming himself was a little stunned. He hesitated for a moment before saying, this. He Janshan took a step forward and quickly picked up the pill and stuffed it into Mo Jianming's mouth. It melted in his mouth, and Mo Jianming instantly felt a cool breath flowing through his meridians, relieving the pain in his spirit. Like a long drought meeting a good amount of rain, like the traveler in the desert finally finding an oasis, Mo Jianming's originally broken soul was slowly recovering. He Janshan fed Mo Jianming the whole bottle of medicine. His face slowly turned red at a speed visible to the naked eye. He had some doubts before, but now he was sure that these were soul returning pills. There were many bottles on the ground that looked exactly the same. Mo Ji Enming opened them one by one. They were all soul returning pills. There were probably more than a hundred of them in total. With so many soul returning pills, it was more than enough to treat his injuries. Even if his soul was riddled with thousands of holes, it could still be repaired. The people from the sword sect were stunned and didn't understand what was going on. L Elder Mo, did you go and rob someone? Mo Jianming's surprise increased as he faced the crowd's incredulous gazes. These pills were all given to him by that young man. He recalled what Zhou Zhenshin had said at the auction. The person who auctioned the pills and the person who bought the Hechu and Luoshu diagram were the same people. Could it be that he was? This realization made Mo Jianming's breathing miss by half a beat. When he thought of the powerful aura he had felt earlier and the strange sword intent, it seemed that all the dots connected. Someone must have followed the young man and wanted to kill him for his treasure, but he didn't expect the young man to be so extraordinary that he could escape from the fatal pursuit and was saved by Mo Zhongming in the end. Elder Mo, what's going on? Why do you have so many soul returning pills? There was too much information in his mind, so much so that Mo Jianming had to take a long time to digest it. It took a few shouts from the people around him to bring his thoughts back. It was not convenient for Mo Jianming to go into detail for various reasons, so he only said, everything is a result of fate. If it wasn't for his sudden impulse to save the young man, Mo Zhongming probably wouldn't have been able to get these soul returning pills. In the end, it was his kindness that saved him. Mo Jianming didn't have any other thoughts about the Hechu and Luoshu diagram, he only felt grateful to Yi Zan. One had to know that injuries to the soul were extremely difficult to treat. Even if they were treated, there would be residual effects in the future. Now that he had so many soul returning pills in his hands, he did not have to worry about those residual effects. If it wasn't for Yi Zan, Mo Ji Enming would have passed away at this point in his life. There were so many soul returning pills. It was impossible that Yi Zan didn't know the value of these pills. Although Yi Zan had been seriously injured earlier, with his strange constitution, his life wouldn't have been in danger even if Mo Ji Enming didn't make a move to help him. I don't know who you are, but if we are fated to meet in the future, I will definitely repay you. Because of Yi Zan's disappearance, almost all of the Taiching sect's forces were mobilized. Although they knew that Yi Zan was elusive and liked to be alone, he had never disappeared for a day and a night like this, and there was no news from him at all. Everyone almost thought that he had met with an accident. Han Yu sent more people to search the nearby area, but there were still no clues on Yi Zan's whereabouts. There were still a few elders on Shenhai's side who were not on good terms with Yi Zan, 
so they were instantly quite happy about it. The second elder said sarcastically, Elder Yi is so rich and generous, he didn't restrain himself even when he was in the capital. Perhaps he's been targeted by someone with ill intentions. The third elder chimed in, Exactly. How many times have I told him to keep a low profile outside? In the end, he must have gone too far. Some of the elders who had enough of it couldn't help but say, Can you guys stop making such sarcastic remarks at a time like this? Elder Yi is a great hero of the Tai Ching sect. Without him, how could the Tai Ching sect be what it is today? It's fine if you don't feel grateful, but you're even saying such things now. You all are truly ungrateful. We're just telling the truth. How are we ungrateful? Han Yu's expression grew icier and icier as she saw the crowd quarreling. Just as she was about to speak, a male voice came from the sky, It's already so late at night, why aren't you all resting? What are all of you quarreling about? Under the night sky, a figure slowly approached like a ghost. It was Yi Zan, who everyone was worried about. Many disciples saw Yi Zan and quickly asked with concern, Elder Yi, are you alright? We haven't seen you for so long, we thought you'd met with some mishap. The smiles on the faces of the second elder and the others gradually faded, as if they were disappointed to see Yi Zan return safely. However, Shen Hai said calmly, Elder Yi, where have you been? Everyone was very concerned about you and had been looking for you for a long time. He didn't know if it was his illusion, but he felt that Yi Zan was surrounded by a faint smell of blood as if he was injured. Shen Hai's suspicious eyes swept over Yi Zan. Yi Zan shook his head. His expression was so calm that no one could see anything wrong with it. He replied, It's nothing. Thank you for your concern. I just went out for a walk. Shen Hai always felt that something was wrong, but he couldn't put his finger on it. Han Yu, on the other hand, was deep in thought. She took a step forward and said, All right, since Elder Yi has returned safely, everyone should disperse, rest early, recuperate, and prepare for the sect returning ceremony in five days. Since Han Yu had spoken, the elders and disciples all returned to their rooms. Just as Yi Zan was about to leave, she suddenly called out to him, Yi Zan, you stay. After saying this, she turned and walked out of the door, and Yi Zan followed her. Shen Hai, Xie Yixuan, and the others looked at the two of them with jealousy in their eyes. Someone voiced, Why did the sect master call this kid out alone again? Is she giving him special treatment? Although Han Yu looked cold and unreasonable and treated all disciples and elders equally, they could see that the way she treated Yi Zan was different from others. Xie Yixuan clenched his fists subconsciously, the veins on his hands popping out. He glared at Yi Zan's figure and turned to return to his room. On the other side, Yi Zan followed Han Yu out. Seeing that there was no one around, she stopped and set up another barrier. What happened to you today? Han Yu's cold eyes reflected the crescent moon in the sky, like a silver river flowing in the bottom of her eyes. She looked even more pure and flawless, and people would even believe it if someone said she was a fairy from the moon. Yi Zan felt a little uncomfortable under her gaze. It was as though she could see through everything. He subconsciously avoided Han Yu's eyes and replied, nothing happened. Han Yu suddenly came so close to him that their breaths were entangled. Yi Zan could faintly smell a delicate fragrance that made him intoxicated. Looking at her sudden movement, Yi Zan was stunned. Her devastatingly beautiful face was so close to him, and her otherworldly beauty brought an even greater impact on his senses. It was as if Han Yu's soft, juicy peach-like lips would touch him if she got a little closer. For some reason, Yi Zan felt his mouth go dry, he couldn't help but swallow his saliva and say, Although you are the sect leader, I am a man of principles. I refuse to abide by the unspoken rules. Without waiting for him to finish, Han Yu looked at him as if he was an id OT. She asked, What unspoken rules? What are you thinking? She quickly pulled away, as if the flirtatious moment just now was just an illusion. Her face still had a cold, unapproachable expression, which made Yi Zan a little embarrassed. Han Yu frowned and glanced at Yi Zan. She commented, I smell a special scent on you. Yi Zan was a little embarrassed. After all this time, he had thought too much and almost thought that Han Yu was interested in him. Fortunately, he didn't say anything out of line. So, you wanted to smell it more clearly? What else? Yi Zan laughed awkwardly, You're so funny, sect master. He tried to crack a joke, but Han Yu was not so easy to fool. She said, Your breathing is unstable. You must have been seriously injured before. What happened? Yi Zan hesitated about whether he should tell Han Yu about the Hichu and Luoshu diagram, but after thinking about it, 
he decided not to. Although he believed in Han Yu's character, the Hechu and Luoshu diagram was not an ordinary item. It's nothing, just a minor conflict outside. Han Yu raised her eyebrows and asked, A minor conflict? Obviously, she didn't believe Yi Zan's words. Seeing that he didn't want to say it, Han Yu wasn't going to force him. Thus, she just said meaningfully, Take good care of your things. These words seemed to be a double edged sword. Yi Zan looked at Han Yu's back and couldn't figure out for a while whether she had discovered the Hechu and Luoshu diagram. Was she referring to the Pun Lai Immortal Stone or both? Forget it, I won't think about it. Regardless of whether Han Yu discovered it or not, at least one thing was certain for now she didn't mean any harm to Yi Zan. After making sure that the surroundings were safe, Yi Zan took out the Hechu and Luoshu diagram, and the ancient scroll slowly spread out in front of him. He mumbled, let me see what's so amazing about you that you almost cost me my life. Worried that it might be fake, Yi Zan even used the system to do this. Examination. Ding. A special item has been detected. Spend 10,000 prodigal points to scan it? Seeing the required prodigal points, Yi Zan thought he was hallucinating, he couldn't help but swear. He had already spent a lot of prodigal points when he activated the system detection function, and now he had to spend so much more. System, you're jealous of my wealth because I've saved up too many prodigal points, right? When he examined other things before, he would at most spend a few dozen prodigal points. This suddenly increased countless times, which really confused Yi Zan. It almost cost him everything he had saved up, but it also proved the uniqueness of the Hechu and Luoshu diagram. Forget it. I almost lost my life for this item. I'll just spend these points. Yes. Yi Zan said to the system with a pained expression. Hechu and Luoshu diagram, damaged, detected, expel part of the curse. A curse? What is this curse? Yi Zan was a little shocked. Before Yi Zan could figure it out, the scroll had been completely opened, and a vast starry sky was revealed in front of him. Countless stars leapt out of the scroll and instantly wrapped him up. Forming a circle, Yi Zan's entire body, from inside to outside, including his soul, received this strange baptism. He didn't notice that there was a wisp of black chi that entered his body. As the world spun, Yi Zan felt as if he had come to an alternate dimension. It was a wonderful feeling. It was as if he was in the starry sky. He could see the boundless sky and the Milky Way flowing slowly not far away. Yi Zan couldn't help but mutter to himself, Where is this? He was as small as a firefly, slowly crawling around the vast universe. There were almost no words that could describe his feelings at this moment. Am I in the depths of the universe? Yi Zan looked at the huge planets around him, and there were tens of thousands of light spots floating around. He said with some uncertainty, Then this should be the Milky Way. He subconsciously stretched out his hand. The stars were huge and very close to each other. It was as if he could touch them with his hand. In the light spot, Yi Zan felt a mysterious power he had never felt before. It was a realm he had never stepped into. Whether it was the huge planet or the white light spots around it, they were all moving slowly. Yi Zan observed carefully and found that the trajectory of their movements seemed to be chaotic, but it was very regular. Each of them corresponded to the 28 constellations in the sky and each of their movements was ever-changing, making it difficult for one to grasp them. It's too magical. Yi Zan sighed and tried to open his eyes wide, trying to figure out the pattern. However, after only a moment, he felt his eyes a little sore and even a little dizzy. It seems like I can't look at it for too long. Yi Zan wanted to continue studying it, but he could only look away. After all, there was still a long way to go. As long as he had the Hechu and Luoshu diagram, he would have plenty of time in the future. Could it be that the secrets of immortal ascension are hidden in these constellations? Yi Zan guessed. Otherwise, how could the magical power of the stars be explained? Just as he was thinking, both the white light spots around him and the planets shook violently. The boundless and magnificent Milky Way was the most impressive scenery in the universe. It flowed quietly and never changed. At this moment, under the Milky Way, something seemed to be on the verge of emerging. Roar. The dragon's roar was deafening and Yi Zan's soul trembled. He couldn't help but mutter, this is. A giant white dragon appeared in front of him. Its head and tail could not be seen, and it covered the sky and the sun it was as long as the heavens and earth. It was simply the most meticulous masterpiece of the creator. Its body seemed to be able to coil around all the planets. Every scale on its body was shining and reflecting a dazzling light. 
Yi Zan's mouth was wide open as he looked at the scene in front of him, unable to come back to his senses for a long time. At this moment, he finally understood that what he had seen earlier was not the Milky Way at all, but the White Dragon. It had been sleeping in the long river of history, and its scales had formed the Milky Way. Now that it had suddenly awakened, thousands of rays of light poured down like the water of the Milky Way. Looking at the menacing White Dragon, Yi Zan subconsciously gulped. He was afraid that he was not even a quarter of the dragon's claw. He was so small that he couldn't be any smaller. With the white dragon's roar, the planets trembled even more violently, and the stars in the sky also began to shake. Many planets were struck by the dragon's tail and exploded without any warning. If this were to land on him, not even dregs would be left. Fortunately, the white dragon didn't seem to notice him. The dragon could destroy a star with just a raise of its hand. What a terrifying power! It was simply too powerful. Yi Zan watched with rapt attention, only to find that the white dragon seemed to have calmed down. Its tail didn't move at all, as if it was asleep. Strange, why isn't it moving? Just as he was feeling puzzled, he suddenly thought of a problem. If the dragon's tail was here, then logically speaking, the dragon's head should be. In an instant, Yi Zan's hair stood on end, and at the same time, a chill rose from his back. He subconsciously turned around and saw a black domain, as if all the darkness and evil in the world had gathered here. His pupils felt a sharp pain, and even his soul felt uncomfortable. Yi Zan couldn't use words to describe what he was feeling at this time. An unprecedented ominous feeling shrouded his heart as if a shadow had enveloped the top of his head, like a shadow that followed him, unable to be removed. When that thing suddenly moved, goosebumps appeared on Yi Zan's body at the same time. When he looked at it, what black domain? It was just a huge dragon's eye. There was no life in it, just like viscous stagnant water. He stared at it for a long time. People always like to observe the goldfish's every move from the outside of the fish tank. Have they ever thought that in the eyes of certain existences, they are also that kind of goldfish? Yi Zan suddenly had this absurd thought. The white dragon in front of him looked extremely holy, but its eyes could almost be called a nightmare, forming a sharp contrast. Many broken images appeared in Yi Zan's mind, but they were grotesque and variegated, so he couldn't distinguish them at all. Countless wisps of black chi surged out of the white dragon's body and transformed into thick chains that wrapped around the white dragon's limbs. Yi Zan was surprised to find that even his hands were emitting wisps of black chi. It was extremely cold and strange, like maggots in his bones. Yi Zan tried to disperse it, but it had no effect. What the HLL is this thing? The black chi seemed to be dragging Yi Zan into HLL. He tried to break free, but it was to no avail. He could feel his body falling rapidly. No matter what he did, it was to no avail. The black chi gradually corroded Yi Zan's body until his entire eye turned black, just like the dragon's eyes. If this continued, his soul would probably be corroded and he would become a walking corpse. The situation was extremely dangerous. In the next second, Golden light shot out in all directions, and golden characters and symbols floated out of Yi Zan's body. The sound of the great Tao floated in the universe, making him look like a god descending to the world. The black chi immediately dispersed as if it had met its natural enemy and instantly dissipated in the air. Yi Zan also gradually recovered consciousness. He suddenly opened his eyes. In front of him was a desolate suburb. The universe, the stars, the white dragon, and the black chi seemed to be just his illusion. Hichu and Luoshu diagram in his hand was hot. He touched the hot scroll and couldn't help but say, was that all a dream? If that was the case, it was a little too real. Looking at the few prodigal points he had left, Yi Zan suddenly realized, could that be the curse that the system was talking about? That inexplicable cold black chi. He remembered the rumor about the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. He mumbled, it said that all the masters of the Hichu and Luoshu diagram would encounter an ominous event and none of them could die of old age. They either disappeared from the world or disappeared for no reason. Could it be that this is the reason? Thinking back to the scene just now, Yi Zan felt that this was very likely. He could still feel that chilling feeling even now. But how was this curse formed? There was one thing Yi Zan didn't quite understand. The Hichu and Luoshu diagram was already powerful. Who in the world had such power to actually place a curse, and who was it targeted at? All kinds of doubts lingered in Yi Zan's mind, causing him to fall into an endless cycle of thoughts. Forget it, I don't want to think too much. 
Whether it was the power of the Hechu and Luoshu diagram itself or the mysterious curse, they were not things that Yi Zan could touch at his current level. Yi Zan looked up at the sky not far away. His face was already slightly white, and a bit of brilliance could be vaguely seen. Yi Zan had thought that it would only take a joss stick's time, but he didn't expect so much time to pass. At the same time, Yi Zan was surprised to find that he had advanced. From the original human rank level 2, he had been promoted to level 3, he was simply overjoyed. I didn't think that I would be able to see myself advancing in my lifetime. Yi Zan wasn't exaggerating. After all, the number of spirit points in his body was dozens of times that of an ordinary cultivator. One could imagine the amount of spirit energy needed to fill so many spirit points. The Hechu and Luoshu diagram is indeed magical. Yi Zan suddenly felt that the 10,000 prodigal points he had spent earlier were worth it. No wonder he needed so many prodigal points. If he followed this leveling method and cultivated a few more times, he would probably become like a normal person and definitely be able to earn back his money. Now that the curse inside had been expelled by the system, he could use this divine object to cultivate without worrying about encountering ominous things like the previous owners. Thinking of this, a satisfied smile appeared on Yi Zan's face, but it soon disappeared. So be it if I've advanced, but why did the number of spirit points in my body increase again? Yi Zan was completely dumbfounded when he saw the number of spirit points in his body. The number of spirit points had completely broken through the 100 mark. If it was someone else, it would be an unprecedented matter, because everyone had a fixed number of spirit points. It was never like this, whereby when one's cultivation advanced, the number of spirit points would also increase. Yi Zan's face suddenly fell. He didn't have time to be happy for a few seconds before he was immediately hit back to his original state by the cruel reality. Originally, he thought that he would advance like a normal person, but in the end, he thought too much. With so many spirit points, even with the help of the Hechu and Luoshu diagram, it would not be easy. Forget it. It's fine if it's slow for me to level up. At least I can still level up. It's better than making no progress. Yi Zan consoled himself. After all, he had been in the human rank level 2 for too long, and he had trained his heart to be strong. The Hechu and Luoshu diagram in front of him was only an incomplete part, but it already had such magical power. If he could gather all of them, he might really be able to find the secret of a mortal ascension. Perhaps he could even figure out what the so-called curse was, but it wouldn't be that easy. After all, the Hechu and Luoshu diagram had been lost for so many years, and no one had ever heard of such a thing before. Now that it had reappeared, it was in such a damaged state. Perhaps there was some unknown reason behind this. For a few days, Yi Zan tried to understand the secrets of the Hechu and Luoshu diagram, but he found nothing. He didn't know if it was because of the curse, or if it was damaged, but he had no clue. If it was so easy to understand, it wouldn't be called the Hechu and Luoshu diagram. From ancient times until now, no one had been able to understand its secret. Yi Zan didn't force it and put it aside for the time being, thinking that perhaps the time wasn't right. He fumbled with the Hechu and Luoshu diagram, and white light overflowed from the center of his palm, corresponding to the many constellations in the sky. Other than the first time he opened the Hechu and Luoshu diagram and saw the white dragon, Yi Zan didn't see it again the next few times. The Milky Way was just an ordinary Milky Way as if everything that had happened before was just his illusion. The Hechu and Luoshu diagram was used to help him with his cultivation, but nothing else. That's strange. I could clearly feel that the dragon was related to the Hechu and Luoshu diagram, but why don't I see it anymore? Yi Zan was bewildered. He looked around, wishing he could take a magnifying glass, but he couldn't find a hint of the dragon's presence at all. Yi Zan, who had buried himself in cultivation, did not know that the entire capital had fallen into a frenzy because of the appearance of the Hechu and Luoshu diagram. The sects participating in the Jingdu auction were all famous figures. Although the order was to seal off the news, there were so many sects. It was inevitable that there would be too many people knowing about it, causing the news to leak outside. Soon, Everyone knew about the appearance of the Hechu and Luoshu diagram. It could be said that a stone caused a thousand ripples, and everyone was agitated. After all, the Hechu and Luoshu diagram was very famous. There were countless rumors about it, and the most famous one was that it contained the secret of the immortal ascension. There were even people who said that once one could comprehend it, they would be able to ascend immediately, and later on, they would become more and more magical. Although the rumors could not be believed, 
they were somewhat certain about the immortal ascension. Everyone knew how magical the Hichu and Luoshu diagram was. Even the seven great sects wanted to get their hands on it. What was as famous as it was the sky high price it commanded. Even divine objects like the Hichu and Luoshu diagram have appeared. It's a pity that I don't have the qualifications to see it. 800,000 supreme grade spirit stones. How crazy is that? The one that got this item must be a walking supreme grade spirit stone mine. Even all the supreme grade spirit stones of the seven great sects added together can't make up this amount. I thought supreme grade spiritual stones were rare. How did he get so many? I heard that he doesn't belong to any of the seven great sects. What? If he wasn't in one of the seven great sects, then what was his background? Could it be that there's a power that's even more powerful than the Yauchi Holy Land in the misty illusory manner? I was there at the scene. The expressions of the people from the seven great sects were extremely ugly. Now, they are offering a large sum of money for clues related to the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. Once someone provides useful information, they can become inner disciples of the sect. Everyone was talking about the Hichu and Luoshu diagram as well as the mysterious man who had bid 800,000 supreme grade spirit stones. The people from the seven grade sects even offered generous conditions, such as top grade cultivation techniques, spirit pills, magic tools, and so on, which made many people eager to take action. It was a pity that the person who bought the Hichu and Luoshu diagram was extremely mysterious. No one knew his identity, and no one had even seen what he looked like. Other than the people of the Jingdu auction house, I'm afraid no one else knows about this mysterious person. However, the Jingdu auction house cannot reveal the privacy and information of their guests. That's hard to say. After all, they are the seven great sects. If they join forces to pressure the auction house, how long can the auction house last? Then there's going to be a good show to watch. The capital will be very lively this year. The sect returning ceremony has not even started and this has already happened. There was no doubt about the strength of the seven great sects. They were determined to get the Hichu and Luoshu diagram, but the background of the Jingdu auction house was not simple. Otherwise, how could it have developed to such a scale? It was said that there was a mysterious and powerful force supporting it. In the past, there had been people who had come to find trouble or threatened and tried to bribe the auction house, wanting to inquire about the whereabouts of the auction treasures. Unfortunately, the outcomes had all been very miserable, and even a large sect had been destroyed. The reputation of the Jingdu auction house had also been established, and everyone knew that this was an iron plate that could not be kicked. Someone commented, if the two sides were to go against each other, I don't know how things would develop. So what if the Jingdu auction house has a great background, can it compare to the seven great sects? I think they won't be able to withstand the pressure sooner or later. Before the seven great sects could join forces to look for them, the Jingdu auction house had become an empty shell. To be more precise, the people inside had disappeared into thin air, as if they had evaporated from the world. From the manager to the cleaning manservants, not even a ghost could be seen, let alone a person. The huge building was clearly filled with guests yesterday, but now it was terrifyingly silent, filled with an inexplicable depression and strangeness. The misty illusory manor, Yauchi Holy Land, Heaven Sect, and other sects who had rushed over upon hearing the news were completely dumbfounded. Where did all the people in the Jingdu auction house go? It was extremely strange that everyone had disappeared overnight. The people of the big sects looked at each other. Everyone's eyes revealed the same message. Were you guys the ones who did it? After all, a mysterious person had bought the Hichu and Luoshu diagram, and only the Jingdu auction house knew his identity and appearance. They would definitely try to get information out of them, so it was inevitable for the two sides to have a dispute. The people in the auction house were all quite powerful and there were even some experts present. However, no one heard anything strange, and there were no signs of a fight. Only the seven great sects were able to do this without anyone knowing. The people from the misty illusory manor were the first to launch an attack. They said, the people from the heaven sect are really good. They actually took action so quickly. They should know the whereabouts of the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. So why did they come here today and put on such a good show? At this time, Whoever admitted it would be the target of public criticism. The people of the Heaven sect immediately glared at them. They had not done this at all. What nonsense are you making up? What evidence do you have to prove that we did it? I think it's more like it was done by your people from the misty illusory manner. You're even trying to put the blame on us now. Other than you guys, who else present is the most suspicious? If you did it then you did it. What's there to be ashamed of? 
It's obvious that you're the ones who are trying to frame us, and you're even trying to divert everyone's attention. What a vicious heart. Your cultivation strength is not that great, but you're more scheming than others. I think the sword sect is also very suspicious. There is also Dao seeking sect. They said that something happened in the sect and didn't come here today. They are also very suspicious. Everyone was quarreling with each other. The people of the seven great sects were all gathered here except for two sects. The sword sect was not interested in this, and the Dao seeking sect knew that the Hichu and Luoshu diagram had been destroyed after the great elders attack, so they couldn't be bothered to come. Can you guys stop quarreling? Don't forget your status? In the end, it was an elder who stepped in and quelled the crowd's debate. He was a highly respected and powerful person. He was the grand elder of the heaven sect, so they had to show him some respect. Why don't you think about it carefully? Even if we were to make a move, how could there be no commotion at all under the watchful eyes of so many people? The people of the auction house are not stupid. Everyone disappeared after one night, but we didn't receive any news. There are too many suspicious points in this matter. No one from the major sects was convinced. After everyone calmed down, they found that these words did make sense. Even they couldn't execute such a plan to the extent that no one find out. Perhaps they were drugged. In any case, this matter has nothing to do with our misty illusory manner. It has nothing to do with our heaven sect. It has nothing to do with our Yaochi holy land as well. Everyone expressed their stance on this matter one after another, and none of them seemed to be lying, which simply made people very worried. Someone guessed, if none of us really made a move, then could it be that the people in the auction house were worried that we would come to find trouble with them, so they ran away? This was not impossible, but after thinking about it carefully, it felt a little ridiculous. This is their headquarters. It's not worth it to give up the business that they've been running for so many years. They are smart. They have 800,000 supreme grade spirit stones. Together with the spirit stones that they have earned, they can go to another place and start over. Why should they stay here? But even if they escaped on their own, there are so many of them. They had to have made some noise. My people were guarding the door, but they didn't discover anything strange. After the auction ended, the seven great sects all sent people to keep an eye on the Jingdu auction house. They wanted to get more detailed information or to see if the mysterious person had any dealings with the auction house afterward. My men also reported that there was nothing unusual. Everyone was puzzled and could not figure out the reason. Very quickly, the news of what happened at the Jingdu auction house spread to the outside world. Once again, all sorts of exaggerations were added to the public's discussion, instantly pushing it to a climax. This is unprecedented. The people in the auction house disappeared into thin air, and the people from the seven big sects don't admit that they did it. Who would believe that? It must be that one of the sects. In order to get the Hichu and Luoshu diagram, one of the sects came up with this plan and captured all the people at the auction house. But the Jingdu auction house isn't one to be trifled with. Is it worth it for an incomplete Hichu and Luoshu diagram? You don't understand. So what if it's incomplete? As long as they can become immortals, there's no problem. The seven big sects aren't easy to deal with either. All in all, rumors spread everywhere, saying all sorts of things. Some said that the Jingdu auction house had already been taken away by people from the seven great sects, while others said that they had run away on their own. Everyone was in a heated discussion. The sword sect and the Dao seeking sect were not idle either. Mo Jianming's injuries had almost recovered under the nourishment of the soul returning pills. However, the Dao seeking sect's great elder was a little unlucky. The wisp of sword chi on his palm couldn't be discharged even now, so the huge gap in the center of his palm couldn't be healed. He could only wrap it up to prevent others from seeing traces of it. Although it wasn't a fatal wound, the wisp of sword chi was constantly wreaking havoc on his body. In general, it wasn't a problem. The great elder wanted to force it out, but he almost suffered a backlash. His face instantly became extremely pale. What's the origin of this sword chi? It's just a wisp but it's so difficult to deal with. The great elder didn't dare to imagine who the person who wielded this sword chi was. The great elder was afraid that even he himself wasn't a match for the wielder of this sword chi. That kid should be dead by now. What left a deep impression on the great elder was the young man. He was obviously a human rank level 2, an ant that could be crushed to death with one hand, but his background was not simple. Not only was the young man able to take out so many supreme grade spirit stones, but he was also able to use such a powerful sword chi. He might be the descendant of some hidden expert. That's why he has such a powerful weapon. If that's the case, 
then our Tao-seeking sect has provoked a powerful and terrifying enemy. The great elder was a little worried, but he soon threw it to the back of his mind. He muttered, if that kid really had a great background, how could he be so easily killed by me? I'm afraid he was only lucky to be able to obtain these things. Now that the Hichu and Luoshu diagram have been destroyed, no one will be able to get it, this is good. Soon, the great elder also received the news about the Jingdu auction house, but he didn't take it to heart. He also didn't tell anyone about the destruction of the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. Not many people would believe him even if he told them. Moreover, he felt embarrassed that he was almost made so miserable by a low-level cultivator. If this news spread, how humiliated would he be? Thus, only the Tao-seeking sect sect master and a few people knew. The popularity of the matter didn't last long. After all, whether it was one of the main characters of the Jingdu auction house or the person who had auctioned the Hichu and Luoshu diagram, it didn't matter. One of them had disappeared into thin air, while the other was extremely mysterious. No one knew his true identity. How could things continue to develop without the involved parties making any moves? However, the people of the seven big sects didn't give up on searching for the whereabouts of the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. They were still sending people to investigate secretly. As long as the information was true, they would be able to obtain endless benefits. The popularity of the Hichu and Luoshu diagram was quickly replaced by another major event in the capital, the sect returning ceremony. Seeing that the sect returning ceremony was imminent, Yi Zan was immersed in cultivation and did not know what day it was. If not for Lin Yuanhang's reminder, he would have almost forgotten about the sect returning ceremony. The sect returning ceremony is about to begin so soon? Yi Zan had been engrossed in cultivation these days and did not pay much attention to Lin Yuanhang. It had only been a few days since they last met, but Lin Yuanhang's entire body had undergone earth shaking changes, and his cultivation was rising. Not bad, kid. It seems you've been working hard recently. Yi Zan patted Lin Yuanhang's shoulder. From the corner of his eye, he saw a ring on his ring finger. It looked extremely unremarkable and was a very ordinary thing. Lin Yuanhang felt uncomfortable under Yi Zan's gaze and almost thought that Yi Zan had discovered something. He subconsciously put his hands behind his back and smiled embarrassedly. He asked, Elder Yi, why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing, Yi Zan said meaningfully, I just wanted to see your ring. I've never seen you wear it before. When Lin Yuanhang heard this, he became even more nervous, he replied, I just bought it from a stall. I'm wearing it for fun. Yi Zan smiled and didn't say anything, but he looked a little agitated. Ding! Special item detected, it contains a remnant soul. Checking it with the system, it was almost the same as he had guessed. This ring was not ordinary. There must be an old grandpa or something inside, which must be Lin Yuanhang's secret weapon. At the same time, an old voice sounded in Lin Yuanhang's mind, is this the elder Yi that you always talk about? He's not simple. Lin Yuanhang looked at Yi Zan's departing back and said gratefully, he's my benefactor. If it wasn't for elder Yi's intervention, I'm afraid I wouldn't be where I am today, and I wouldn't even have the fate to get to know you, Elder Bai. Elder Bai was an ancient remnant soul. If even Elder Bai said so, then Yi Zan was naturally extraordinary. Perhaps Yi Zan was even more powerful than Lin Yuanhang had imagined. The Tai Ching sect had long been prepared and had arrived at the square in the center of the capital. They thought they were already early enough, but they didn't expect it to be so crowded. The large venue was almost full of people, and it was extremely lively. The streets and alleys were also empty. It could be said that everyone had gone to watch the show. After all, this was a rare event. The people standing at the square were all from sects from all over the world. There were also countless large and small high platforms beside the square, allowing one to clearly see the scene below. These high platforms were left for the people of the seven great sects. Every year, the sect returning ceremony would be particularly intense. There were so many sects, hundreds or even thousands of them, but only a few dozen spots were fixed. This year, the number of people was even more, almost filling the entire square. What's going on this year? There are too many people. That's right. I heard that the number of sects participating in this year's sect returning ceremony is dozens of times more than the previous years. Sigh, I don't know if there's hope for our sect. It'd be great if we could enter the seven great sects. What kind of people are the seven great sects? To be able to take a fancy to a small sect like ours, I don't have high expectations. If I can be taken a fancy to buy other sects in the capital, I'll be satisfied. 
The seven great sects could be said to be standing at the top of the pyramid in the entire central province, even the continent. Almost everyone was fixated on trying to squeeze into it. Even if they couldn't get in, it would still be a good thing if they were noticed by the sects under the seven great sects. For example, the seven great sects were the direct descendants, and those who were named were the collateral relatives. Although they could not be compared to the orthodox sects, they were more or less related to the seven great sects, so they were also a good choice. The arrival of the Tai Ching sect quickly caused a great commotion in the crowd. The reason was none other than Han Yu's outstanding face. Even in a place like the capital where there were many capable people, that face of hers was still very impactful. She's so pretty, she's almost as pretty as the fairies of the Yaochi Holy Land. With her looks, she's worth at least 90 points, how come I've never seen her before? They should be from some other remote place. The people of the Tai Ching sect had long been accustomed to this. After all, Han Yu had caused a sensation before. As the people from the other sects arrived one after another, the Tai Ching sect was quickly left behind. After all, apart from Han Yu's face, they did not seem to have any other special features. Guys, look at the sky. The square was in a hubbub. Just as everyone was discussing, they heard a cry of surprise and quickly followed the sound. The immortal sound was ethereal, and not far away, purple clouds came from the east. It was mighty and instantly attracted everyone's attention and eyes. The purple clouds in the clouds were particularly eye-catching as if something was flying from it. Upon closer inspection, they were actually dozens of immortal cranes. Their bodies were covered in purple clouds as they stepped on the clouds and slowly landed on the high platform. Since ancient times, red-crowned cranes had been described as auspicious omens, but now they were few in number. Moreover, these red-crowned cranes looked glossy and smooth, their feathers were pure white and flawless, and their bodies were filled with spiritual energy. There are still people up there. The crowd then noticed that there was actually someone sitting on the crane. Just what kind of person is he? To think that he could actually ride a crane here, I don't think the so-called immortal in the clouds is anything more than this. The people who came down from the red-crowned cranes were a group of young disciples. The men were handsome and the women were beautiful. They were all dressed in white, and they looked even more celestial. Most importantly, each of them had extraordinary cultivation. Following the lead of the old man, he entered the high platform, leaving only his figure in everyone's endless reverie. So they're from the Yaochi Holy Land. No wonder they have such an extraordinary bearing. Yi Zan found that among those people, there was a particularly familiar back. He subconsciously looked at Lin Yuanhang and, as expected, saw his expression change slightly. He didn't expect Lin Qingxue, who had broken off the engagement, to be among them. As if sensing Yi Zan's worried gaze, Lin Yuanhang's expression returned to normal. He assured, Elder Yi, don't worry, I'm fine. Yi Zan nodded and said, Don't worry, your future achievements will definitely be higher than hers. What a joke. This was the male protagonist with a secret weapon who broke off his engagement. How could a mere fiancé stop Lin Yuanhang's path? Although he knew about Lin Yuanhang's secret weapon, Yi Zan did not covet it. After all, with the system, no matter how powerful his secret weapon was, it was nothing to Yi Zan. But looking at the current situation, Lin Qingxie's status in the Yaochi Holy Land is quite high. You may meet her in the future, so you can't lose yourself. In the face of Yi Zan's kind reminder, Lin Yuanhang expressed that he understood. Don't worry, Elder Yi. I will look at the big picture. He couldn't help but touch the ring on his finger as he meaningfully said, after all, it's not the time yet. Following that, the people from the Misty Illusory Manor, Heaven Sect, Infinity Sect, and the other sects appeared one after another. Each sect was bigger than the last, and everyone's eyes were dazzled and their hearts yearned for it. Before anyone could react, a mark appeared in the sky, it seemed to be a casual stroke, and then the mark gradually became heavier, as if a pair of invisible hands were waving wantonly, forming a complicated pattern. The sky was the paper, and the sun and moon were the ink. How domineering was this? It was to the point that everyone's eyes were wide open. What is this? I actually don't recognize it. The crowd below the stage pointed at the sky and looked for a long time, but they couldn't figure out what the word was. That is the Tao. Those who were familiar with the ancient text came back to their senses. After the others looked at it, they also sighed, it really is the word, Tao. It turned out that it was written in ancient characters. No wonder so many people present couldn't recognize it. The words were written with a silver touch and the brush was like a dragon or a snake. 
The lines seemed ordinary, but they revealed an indescribable charm. Every time the audience saw it, they could get a different experience. The black and white world between the lines constructed the rhythm of the Great Tao, making people involuntarily immerse their entire minds in it, wanting to figure out the truth within. However, how could the Great Tao be so easy to comprehend? Forcibly trying to comprehend it would only cause one to sink deep into it. Those with insufficient cultivation would be affected by this character. Many people were either sitting cross legged in deep thought or crying and laughing at the same time. For a moment, the myriad of expressions of all living beings was vividly displayed in the square. However, very few people were able to maintain their consciousness, and Yi Zan was one of them. What is Tao? A question resounded through the universe, it was so loud that even the deaf could hear the question. The deafening question seemed as if it was going to soar into the nine heavens and let the heavens hear. It was so loud that everyone in the square seemed to wake up from a dream and revealed ashamed expressions when they saw their loss of self-control. Many people had blank expressions on their faces as they asked themselves in their hearts, what exactly was Tao? Hearing this voice, Yi Zan raised his eyebrows, why did it sound so familiar? It's the Tao seeking sect, right? No wonder they are one of the strongest sects. This is no small matter. A group of people entered the high platform. They were dressed in black and white clothes, which looked like the Tai Chi Yin Yang 8 trigrams pattern. They contained the supreme great Tao, which made people yearn for it. The leading elder was the great elder of the Tao seeking sect. His hands were wrapped in white cloth. Yi Zan's pupils suddenly shrank. He suddenly remembered that night, someone had come to kill him because of the Hichu and Luoshu diagram. However, the light was dim, so he couldn't see the face of the person clearly. If Yi Zan remembered correctly, that person had also been injured by the sword Shi in the exact place where the great elder wrapped his hands. Coupled with the familiar voice, the assassin's identity was now known to Yi Zan. Good, I was just worried that I couldn't find you, but I didn't expect you to deliver yourself to me. Yi Zan's eyes were burning with intensity. He had always believed in taking revenge, even if he was the Tao seeking sect's great elder. So, what if there was a difference in strength between the two? It didn't mean that there was no way Yi Zan could go against him in the future. He had almost lost his life that night, he would remember this grudge. It was never too late for a gentleman to take revenge, sooner or later, he would have to get back at this person. Cultivators were the most sensitive, not to mention that it was someone with high cultivation like the great elder. He seemed to have sensed something and suddenly turned around, only to see the eyes of the crowd below the stage filled with either admiration or awe. Seeing him suddenly stop, the disciple beside him couldn't help but ask, what's the matter, great elder? The great elder shook his head and replied, nothing, let's go in. Could it be that he was overthinking things just now? The great elder didn't see Yi Zan's face clearly that night because he had disguised himself from head to toe. Now that Yi Zan was in the crowd with his head lowered, how could he have noticed? Moreover, he was confident that Yi Zan had no chance of surviving his full power attack at that time. However, he never expected that Yi Zan was no ordinary person. I've heard that the Tao seeking sect is the strongest among the seven great sects. They seem to be above the other sects. It seems that they are indeed worthy of their reputation. But isn't Sword Sect the one with the highest combat power? So what if they have the highest combat power? It still depends on their overall strength. The few large sects that were already on the stage had different expressions when they saw the Tao seeking sect appear and heard the discussions of the people below. The people of the Infinity Sect said in a strange tone, the Tao seeking sect is still the same, they like to be mysterious here. There's no other way, who asked them to have this kind of strength? In recent years, although the seven great sects appeared peaceful on the surface, there was no lack of internal strife. They seemed to be on equal footing, but the struggle was extremely intense. Right now, the strongest should be the sword sect, the Tao seeking sect, and the heaven sect. The rest were slightly inferior. When the great elder of the Tao seeking sect came in, everyone's eyes fell on him. Naturally, they also noticed the bandaged area on his hand. They immediately revealed strange expressions. Great elder, what happened? Did you hurt your hand? This was like the sun rising from the west. According to their current cultivation, there were not many people who could cause harm to them. Even if they were injured, they could heal very quickly unless the one who attacked was particularly powerful. However, to be able to harm the great elder of the Tao seeking sect, how high was this person's cultivation? Faced with everyone's speculating looks, the great elder appeared particularly calm, 
He used the excuse he had prepared long ago. He commented, it's nothing serious, I was just careless. Everyone saw that his expression was normal and didn't suspect anything. After all, there weren't many people who could cause harm to him. Besides, other than the seven great sects, they had never heard of the Tao seeking sect having any conflicts with others. Your entrance earlier was really impressive, great elder. It was just a few perfunctory and cordial words, but the great elder replied with a subtle, heavy tone, it's nothing. I just wanted to use this opportunity to give some inspiration to the sects that came to participate in the sect returning ceremony. The word, Tao, had really woken up many people. After all, with the great elder's cultivation level, just a few pointers from him would be a rare opportunity for this group of low-level cultivators. The reason why he did this was to establish his might, to let everyone know the position of the Tao seeking sect in the seven great sects. He was really scheming. Many people secretly cursed the old fox in their hearts, but on the surface, they had no choice but to maintain the necessary peace. After exchanging greetings for a while, they realized that all the sects had arrived except for the sword sect. That's weird. Today is the sect returning ceremony. The sword sect shouldn't be late. Who knows? Maybe they got some kind of treasure and are studying it in the sect. This so called treasure was naturally the Hichu and Luoshu diagram that had previously caused an uproar in the capital. As the people at the auction disappeared into thin air, talk about it gradually decreased. Now that it was brought up again, the atmosphere in the hall was silent for a moment. Everyone looked at each other, and everyone understood the meaning of these words. The Hichu and Luoshu diagram probably isn't in the hands of the sword sect. Last time, they left the auction in a hurry with the pills. I think something big must have happened in the sect. I heard something about Mo Jianming getting injured? The words spoken by the misty illusory manner seemed to be casual, but they were like small pebbles, causing small ripples in everyone's hearts. Although the sword sect had sealed off news about Mo Jianming's injuries, there were no walls in the world that could keep the wind out. Moreover, the other sects were also paying attention to it. These people were all cunning foxes, and any slight movement would arouse their suspicion. You can't say such things. Elder Mo is such a powerful person. How could he be injured? The Infinity Sect gave them a meaningful look. It's not as simple as a physical injury. Even his soul has been affected. I'm sure those who bought the divine soul pill at the auction before know that it's not a divine soul pill. Before he could finish his sentence, everyone knew what he meant. Although the soul returning pill was rare and not many existed in the world, there were still people in the seven great sects who knew how to differentiate the goods. As long as they ate it, they would know that it was a soul returning pill. Everyone present was smart and quickly understood what he meant. They couldn't help but feel excited. If the sword sect didn't have Mo Jianming, their strength would probably have dropped a lot. Now that Mo Jianming has suffered such a serious injury, the people of the sword sect are not in the mood to participate in the sect returning ceremony. I think that's why they're not here. Doesn't that mean that the sword sect can't even participate in this year's sect returning ceremony? The moment he finished speaking, a deep and powerful voice was heard. Who said I'm seriously injured? Everyone turned around and saw that it was the sword sect. The one leading them was Mo Jianming, who they had been talking about. Mo Jianming was in high spirits, his eyes were bright and full of energy, and the aura on his body was extremely stable. He did not look injured at all. His cultivation had even improved a lot, and the sword intent in his eyes seemed to be able to form a physical entity. The people who touched Mo Jianming felt a little unnatural and couldn't help but look away. The people of the Tao-seeking sect and the Heaven sect looked at him suspiciously, but they didn't find any hints of injuries.